everyone, my name is Tegan and I have the slightest cold so I'm being very dramatic about it right now. But today we're going to talk about what I learned from writing fanfiction. And this was originally a post to my blog but I thought I want to make it a video because this is a topic that I am very interested in. Also you can't see but like I have a tattoo now. But yeah. I wrote this on my blog and the post originally came to be because I've watched, um, you know the fit, um, hold on, where is it? So. Back in Wattpad, Wattpad, who calls it Wattpad? Wattpad days. Um, after by Anna Todd, Imaginated 1D, she wrote the fan fiction about Harry Styles, like the proper bad boy, dark Harry thing. And um, it got like millions of reads. It became the most like popular story on Wattpad. It was a trilogy. It got picked up by a publishing company and now it's a film. <laughs> I watched after. Um, I've said the other day but even when I wrote the blog it wasn't the other day. It was like back in September, August. Also I'm wearing an Aula shirt today because her new song Heavy's out and I love it so supports. So yeah I watched After, the fanfiction turned book turned film and I can't stop thinking about it or how I got my origins as a writer writing One Direction fanfiction. And also I wrote this blog because we're in 2020 now and I still see so much slander towards fanfiction and discrediting it as a like form of writing. So this is basically a justice for fanfiction post. <sighs> Let's begin. So the first thing that writing fanfiction taught me is how to take inspiration from existing settings. Like writing about an existing setting from canon, like it lessens the burden of world building. Because I kind of hate world building, I like characters. <laughs> and also, if you write from something you know, it encourages you to consider like the finer details rather than big elements. And that's how you like get the reader interested in the story. Like I love reading all these like little tiny details. I don't care about massive things. They give me some very oddly specific things to this one world and make it feel real to me. And yeah. Um, if you're writing from like an existing like fictional world, fictional world, then like things that the creator originally didn't address in their stories are now yours to experiment with. This allows you to get a sense for things that feel as if they fit within the established setting. And it will also encourage you to look for inspiration in other real world, real world settings that you may or may not be familiar with. So as well as just writing from what you know, you can write about stuff that you kind of know. <laughs> And you know, once you're more comfortable with real settings, it'll be so much easier to make fictional ones and ones that are uniquely your own. Another thing that writing fanfiction taught me is how to capture a character's essence. Because you know, the big thing about fanfiction is making it believable and taking this real person and completely twisting it into this fictional setting but still making it real and believable to the reader. So it's hard to perfect a character's portrayal like in the begin to begin with, like to create your own character and have it like carry out across the story and be consistent and have a believable arc and everything. But actually portraying a real person is I think even harder. Like mastering someone else's character is a challenging way to learn how to keep your own characters consistent, as well as like shaping their personalities in a way that's believable. I said believable so many times in this little like section. <laughs> Another thing fanfiction taught me is just how to let my imagination just run wild. And working with a specific cast of characters and settings may seem as if it like restricts your creativity, but these restrictions actually encourage so much creativity, much like the restrictions in like original writing. So in like fantasies, I'm gesturing as if I can see one. I cannot spot a like magical fantasy here. But in those you have the restrictions of like what magic can and can't do. Although a lot of popular magical fantasies seem to miss that out, but that's something I believe all of them should. So these characters and settings may belong to someone else, but your interpretation of them is entirely your own. I realise that I'm doing a lot of gesturing in this video. I normally just do a little, but this is like... I feel like a teacher. I'm here to teach you about fanfiction. <laughs> What's become of me? Fanfiction taught me how to write something that I'll enjoy. 
Also, how to write something that I'm passionate about. Like, you see these fanfiction writers who have, like, millions of words and, like, thousands of pages and, like, that is passion, that is commitment. <laughs> I could not imagine writing a book on my own that has even, like, I'm an underwriter, so anything over like 60,000, that is mind blowing to me. But people who write hundreds of thousands of words of fanfiction, that was going to be a chef's kiss, but I forgot. But <laughs> I have so much respect for those people. So, one of the best ways to write about something you enjoy is to write about characters you already know and have grown to care about. For example, Harry Styles. And thinking about how to tell stories of other people's characters would eventually help you figure out the types of characters and the corresponding tropes that appeal to you. So one more thing is how to critically evaluate evalu critically evaluate casual relationships. So simple changes to canon can make a huge difference, like in Harry Potter, instead of it being Harry and Ginny, you have Harry and Draco, and that, that one change in relationship completely changes the entire story. So if you want Harry and Draco, you end up getting, I was going to point to it here, but it's not, Rainbow Rowell's Carry On. <laughs> so yeah, one little change is like a butterfly effect. And exploring how all these little changes to the plot will affect characters is like such a great way to experiment looking at the bigger picture and considering like all the options for your plot to take. And probably the biggest thing that fanfiction taught me is how to handle criticism. Because you know if you write a story and you've ruined someone's interpretation of Harry Styles, you're going to have like hundreds of angry people after you. Because fanfiction is serious business. <laughs> fanfiction is literally just a cult. I mean, I haven't read fanfiction in a while, so I don't know like what's big nowadays, so that's why I keep referring to One Direction. But yeah, back in the day, if you slandered One Direction slightly, they'll be coming for blood. So yeah. Readers and reviews can be like very nitpicky when it comes to franchises that they adore. So as you receive feedback, you'll soon learn like what is useful and what you can just completely disregard. You learn ways to deal with like negative critics diplomatically. It gets very political trying not to hurt someone's feelings and for them not to hurt yours. So yeah, and like PR is very important for published authors. So getting some practice in before you're published is like a very useful learning experience. But I think above everything else, writing fanfiction taught me that practice makes perfect. So the key to improving your writing is to simply just write, whether that's writing original works or fanfiction or like whatever else your heart desires. Like the joy of <coughs> the joy of fanfiction, like especially One Direction, when you have like the bad boy good girl trope as seen in our beloved after. Like that is basically written hundreds of times, the same author copies that same trope themselves hundreds of times. But you're, as long as you're writing something, it doesn't matter how original it is. Like writing something is how you get practice in and that's how you can perfect your craft. And no kind of fiction is incapable of teaching you like such a wide range of things about topics you might not have cared about beforehand. And for some of us, writing fiction taught us a lot about every little detail of certain band members' lives. So yeah. That is what writing fanfiction taught me. That's all I have for today. In the description I'll put a link to this vlog if you'd rather read it and listen to me and my illness just waffle on. And also in the comments below, if you were a fanfiction writer presently or past, leave us some little tips in the comments. And also, just you know, what's your favourite fanfiction? Why not? I read a really good Mike and Karimats one. That is like the most popular one, but it it broke my heart more than pretty much any published book I've ever read has. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!